lot of time on the floor with European players. Yes. How was that connection? How do you felt? What do you, what did you learn from it? And what's your experience? It's always you know just work with the European players, especially like this year we had the uh, Thomas. And at the beginning of the year, we had a Joffrey. I think the working with those guys is, is really good because you feel a little, little closer to them because they're from Europe. And then, you know, they, they kind of play like I do. Uh, I think they're, it's, pre, it's pretty fun. How many countries are you going to this summer? This summer? Ooh. So I'm going to go to seven or eight countries this summer in 20 whatever days. So after this, uh, tomorrow I'm going to go to London. Japan. I'm gonna go to Korea, the good one. <laughs> I'm gonna go to, not the other one. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to Philippines, si Singapore, Malaysia. Then I'm gonna go to China. New Zealand. Uh, after New Zealand, after because Stevens camp in, in August. I don't wanna go there early and miss miss uh, miss him. Uh, but like, uh, I'm gonna go to seven eight uh, country uh, this uh, off season. Just you know, just go there, do some charity work. Just hang out there, with, hang out with some people, and do some uh, basketball game. And this when you ask a fan for they want a picture, has anybody ever said, "No, I'm good"? Uh, no. <laughs> Even like they, when they don't want it, they being polite and just saying, "Yes, okay, I will take a picture." <laughs> and has there been any talk uh, among the team about maybe going to support Russ uh, on June 26th for that award show in case he wins MVP? Uh, well, we haven't talked about it, but I mean, if if they if they do, I'll, I'll definitely go. I'll definitely go to support them because I mean he got our support. He I mean he got our back every game. So we we want him to know that we got his back. You know, just we'll just go to support him definitely. Coach Donovan mentioned that if you wouldn't had injured your arm, you would be uh, one of the favorites. And hey, what is that? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to our home. Bloomies! That's the, uh... Bloomies! What is that called? Huh? Bloopers. That's the bloopers. I don't know if you guys want to watch that. What's kind of long? It is long. Do you know how many times we redo it? Long time. It's my second language, bro. <laughs> He's a man of the people. Ow. 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 So are we saying our? No, let's go D. 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 Let's go Get that out of your way. And that's why he's the Look who we have here. Where'd you shoot this? You got to be the same. I don't even know. Who we have here? Listen. That's going to be weird. Close? Look at him. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Did you guys see it back? <laughs> Welcome back to our home. Today we have questions from the back. First question is from the Sparky and Telegraph. What's it like to play with Russell Westbrook? Tell, tell, tell. It's good, man. You ruined him. You did the boring. You did the boring one. This is the best one. It's like, I make it fun of me for my age. <laughs> Last one. What about a Russell? What a bear. What about a Russell? <laughs> Come on, man. 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 <laughs> that was good. Yeah, we took we took a lot of shots. Huh? 
For who? <laughs> For who? Do that in Utah with the jazz. I'm somewhere. Yeah. For who though? <laughs> Gordon Hayward. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Anybody else? Ennis, was that fun for you? Oh, definitely, man. I mean, it was, first of all, it was, I mean, it was really fun because we're doing it for Russell, and I feel like he deserves everything, you know, the, what, we, what we said on that tape, whatever. And I think it was, it was just fun, especially with, with Steven, always, it's always fun, you know, and we bring in Thomas and, you know, Alex and Dre. It was, it was a really good, I will never f forget that ever, you know, it was. Yeah, you, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Coach mentioned that you were one of the favorites to win the sixth Man of the Year award okay. for injuring your, your arm. What are your thoughts on that, and what do you think that uh, award really means? Uh, well, first of all, um, I mean, I came back for, from injury pretty well, I think. Of course, injury wasn't a good thing. And then first, I remember I took an x-ray that we saw it was broken. I, I mean, I was like numb. I couldn't really feel anything. It was just really bad mentally, not physically, because I know it was going to get better, but just mentally, I was just so, uh, felt really bad. And not just because of, I was going to play, because, because of my teammates too. You know, I felt like I left them alone out there. And, you know, but I think I, I came back pretty good shape. Uh, you know, I was, I was, you know, running with the cast and everything, working with the cast. But, you know, I think that, of, of course, I mean, that award uh, means a lot. But, you know, just um, if you mean, if you win, if you keep winning, it means a lot. I mean, if you, it doesn't really matter. I mean, if you, if you, if you we lost in the first round in the series, I mean, who cares if you, if you win it right now? You know what I mean? It's all about the team. You know, of course, individuals' awards just means a lot. But like, I feel like it's all about the team, and I don't want to really separate myself from the team because we we are one. And then I just don't want to be like, oh, I'm just trying to win that award, whatever.